Today we're taking a look at this LBLA 1080p home security interactive camera. First of all, outside the box there is this outside sleeve, which is nice, simple and minimalistic. With an outline depiction of the camera, some useful aspects which this camera may be used for, like home security, baby care, elder care, pet care and store surveillance. Oh, and there's a handy QR code, which when scanned will take you direct to the MIPC app where you can go ahead and pre-download. Let's take a look inside, and everything comes well packaged and secure. First, you are greeted with this satisfaction support card. That's always welcoming to see. There is a very clear set out multi-language instruction manual. We have, what is this? Oh yes, we got the power plug with USB inserts, a very long USB to micro USB cable, two supplied screws, which yep, it will be for the ceiling bracket. And with more thick padded protection, we have the LBLA security camera itself, which really has a premium look. I just love this gloss black and white finish. After overlooking a few of the specs off camera, we have to the top, an infrared LED, the bottom a sensor, and in the center, the camera. 
On the base, there is a wireless and wired network status light and a single pin microphone. Twisting the camera around, there is an Ethernet port, a micro USB 5 volt power port, a reset button, a micro SD card slot, which takes cards from 8GB to 128GB. And to the side, we have a loudspeaker. This security camera can be sat on a flat surface with help from the four rubber feet. You can also add the wall mounting bracket which has a simple centre screw. To screw it in very easily and hang it upside down. But just remember when doing so to fit it close to a wall power socket so the power cable will reach. So yeah, measuring is key. Powering the LBLA camera on is quite straightforward. Once you're signed up to the MIPC app and clearly guided along the way, you will have access to a wide range of features. It does not have 5G support, but what's good is that you can add multiple cameras to the app. And this is supported by iOS and Android. Three days later! <laughs> Okay, after three days using this LBLA camera, I found that it gave me a sense of security that I didn't think I needed before. Image quality was actually pretty good for a 2 megapixel camera while viewing it through the app. You do have a remote 350 degrees horizontal and 100 degrees vertical control, as well as pan, tilt, and a pinch to zoom function. You can either have this security camera set to alert you immediately on your phone when motion is detected, as well as auto record too. Woo! You can turn this to manual control if need be, and that motion detect I must say is very precise. Your notification alerts will be triggered even if you used to move or step into the room slightly. So for example, if movement is stopped for 5 seconds, and again motion is resumed, you'll get a new notification. This camera also has auto track, which again when movement is detected, it will follow that object that is in motion. What's great is that it remains silent when doing so, sort of like in a stealth way. Face recognition is an added option, which if you're caring for an elderly person and you've got one of these cameras fitted in their home, it will recognise their face and won't bother notifying you. Whatever new face is added, say a burglar gets into the house, well, it will alert you of the notification so you can then go to your camera, have a look what's going on and see if the elderly person is safe or not. What's good about this camera is with this speaker you can also communicate through the talk option. <laughs> Audio with that function is indeed two way. It has talk and listen options and also has a noise cancellation filter. This security camera will also switch to night vision with the built in infrared LED up to 32 feet. And if you want to save your recordings, you can choose to save them to the SD card, mobile phone, or a cloud box. Each recording will have a time signature stamped, as well as your custom chosen camera name too, like what I've named mine here Go Cam 1. Overall, I really like this LBLA security camera. It's very simple to use, it has very smooth tracking control, and it's very silent too, which I feel a lot of thought has been put into this product being incognito. The app is very well set out, and I'm trying my best to think of a negative comment. But honestly, I truly can't. Today, ah. Uh... Do you need help setting up the orb cam? All you need is the orb cam, your phone, and the Wi-Fi password. Connect the camera to the power cord. If you have any questions or need any help, you can contact our customer support on live chat or phone call through the NetView app, or email us at support at netview.com. Download the NetView app. It's available on the App Store and Google Play. Create an account to log in. Press the plus sign to add a new device. Press the reset button which is located on the bottom of the camera. Wi-Fi configuration mode is activated when status light is flashing green. Enter your Wi-Fi passcode. Please note that the camera only works with 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band. A QR code will be generated by the app. Place the QR code in front of the camera and let it scan the code.
Your camera will show up on the front page once you successfully added it onto the app. Features. Pan and tilt. Enter the live view and swipe the screen to move the camera lens around. The camera can pan left and right and can tilt up and down as well. Motion zone. You can customize the motion detection zone and let the camera focus on the area you desire. Tap the area into the blue to activate motion detection. User sharing. Share the camera's access with other people without sharing your password. TF card. The camera supports local storage with up to 128 gigabytes TF card. Once you subscribe to the NetView cloud service, you can access recorded footage on the cloud. It can store up to seven days of footage. Here we will show you how to set up your Amazon Alexa to your NetView device. Search for the Amazon Alexa app from the App Store or Google Play. Go to your Alexa app. Then go to the menu and then select Skills. Browse or enter Search NetView app to find the skill for your device. Then select Enable. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the linking process. Ask Alexa to discover your device, say, discover my devices, or select add device in the smart home section of the Alexa app. You can also rename your device to your choosing in order to differentiate your various NetView products. After connecting your NetView device to your Echo Show, you can use the compatible features through Amazon custom skills like asking the Alexa to show your device's live view. Alexa, show me the kitchen. Okay. More skills and features are under development. Please refer to the official announcements and instructions.